Jones Martini Whisperer here. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, in this little clip, I'm going to be talking about some of my go-to martini reference books. Uh, some use for inspiration, some about the history of it, and so on. And uh, one in particular, I've realised I've had for donkey's years, as they say in the business, called The Martini by Barnaby Conrad III. And it's been sitting on my bookshelf for years and years, like I said. And it's just a really fun little read about the history of martini, its design, its cultural references, so all the, all the old great ads, um, famous martini drinkers, scenes out of movies like David Niven and Nick and Nora, and of course the famous Nick and Nora series of movies back in the 30s, 40s and so forth. Um, and it's got all these sort of anecdotes and yarns and, and uh, a little bit about the equipment and how fashion's changed over time. This is a great picture, it's called the Automaton. Um, so there's cocktails now, you can go in a bottle or even robots, which I frown upon. Um, it's called the Cocktail Matic. And it's this little fantastic picture here of lady. One's in Manhattan and one's a martini. So that was been way back in the day. So this is always just a good one, good thing for just to dip into and get a little bit of inspiration, shall we say. A book that uh, popped up last year uh, by an American writer called Robert uh, Simonson. And he's, um, he does all the stuff out of New York. And this is a gem of a book. I uh, recommend The Martini Cocktail, um, a meditation on the world's greatest drink with recipes. And it's a very, very elegantly poised, written book that came out all wrong. It's a very elegant book to read. Um, and it, basically, again, there's a rise of martini, the different styles. And of course, the martini, as we know, it's got lots of different myths around it and everyone's got an opinion. And he navigates that very, very well. Um, and at the Half the book's all about the evolution, as I said, and shaking and stirring and the, the bad old days, the 80s, and vodka martinis and so on and so forth, um, and how it's come back in fashion. And at the back, or well, the second half of the book, is all cocktail recipes, and uh, including from the very early styles of martini, like, like the Martinez, which some say is, is ancestor, part of DNA back to 1887 and earlier. Kind of, so he's gone through a lot of trouble to find the recipes from 1888, 1905 and so on. There's also an app you can buy that's really quite good too. Um, and it has all these recipes and by ingredient, by year, by style. So recommend that, that's great. And the third and final book I'll introduce you to today is a real a personal favorite of mine by an Australian writer called Frank Morehouse. That's M-O-O-R-H-O-S-E. I had the privilege of meeting him. He's a novelist and he lives in Tasmania and he likes to use our martinis with a twist, usually. And uh, we did an event together in Cairn, Canberra. There was a stage play named uh, called Cold Light, Cold Light and, uh, after one of his, his books. Anyways, I was invited to um, create a martini especially for the occasion, uh, for the function at the Museum of Australian Democracy. So a real honor and privilege. So he was there, so we got to meet and he liked my martini, which is just as well. Got a photo to prove it. And uh, anyway, this is a charming book, Martini and Memoir. And unlike the others, it's a bit more whimsical. Um, he, every chapter's on, on different facets, like um, certain types of lemons or uh, cocktail picks or how many sips should, have I met, should be in a martini. I think I recommend about 22. Um, why certain places are martini cities and some are not. And so on goes. And when I did my TEDx talk uh, about the martini, this was a real inspiration in for that. So... Charming memoir, you've got a really, really interesting read with some good facts and recipes. And look out in secondhand bookshops and things like that. There's really fun books like this um, back in the day, which gives, again, more flavour and inspiration about the martini. Thanks for tuning in. See you soon.